Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, we are going to do a Knight Rider program. And if you don't know what Knight Rider is, it comes from a show back in the 80s with David Hasselhoff, and he had this car named Kit. And on the front of the car, it had this light that went back and forth. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Takes each square, goes to the right, comes back to the left, and it just swings back and forth. So in this video, I'll show you how I put this together. It's pretty simple. It's like a, a big do while loop I did in Google Apps Script. And I'll take you through the steps of how I put it together. So let's get started. All right, I am on a new Google Sheet. I'm going to give it a name. Call it Knight Rider. I'm going to give my sheet a name here. We'll just call it Knight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to black out a whole bunch of rows and columns. I'm just going to make it black. I'm going to go to about the M. I'm going to go way down here. It doesn't really matter. You can go down to somewhere in the 40s or 50s. I'm going to shade this black. So that takes care of that. And row three here, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to go to K. I'm just going to shade this white. So I got this white. I'm just going to make the just a little bigger, kind of show it more. And that's where my light's going to go back and forth there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a button down here to get the light to start and call the function. So I'm going to go to Insert, I'm going to go to Drawings. I'm going to grab a shape, the button shape. I'm going to left click, drag. I'm going to double click in here. I'm going to say start. Um, I'm going to sh shade the button here black. And I'm going to highlight start there. And I'm going to shade that white or red. I'm going to do red. There we go. I'm going to bold it. There it goes. Now it shows up. Kind of make this a little smaller. Doesn't need to be that big. Hit save. And I'm going to take that button. I'm going to move it down here. So that's going to get started. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our script in. So I'm going to go to script editor. I'm going to name our project. Knight Rider, hit OK. Next I'm going to copy in the function I use. So now i got it copied. I'm going to paste it. OK, and I'm just going to briefly kind of go through it. So I named my function Knight Rider. I'm going to save it here. Named it Knight Rider. I'm de declaring the active sheet object here. I'm declaring my sheet, night sheet, off my name night, which is my sheet name down here. And then from there I'm setting some initial values. I'm sitting, setting up the I of 2, which is going to be the first column I'm going to start out with, is right here. So that's going to start there and then go from left to right. Switch direction, I'm using this to tell it when it gets to the end, I'm going to switch it, and then it's going to go this way, and then I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to change that from 0 to 1, and then how long is how long I'm going to let this go before I stop it. So I am going to put a stop on it. It's not going to run forever. So I'm starting with a do, do while loop, and I'm starting with my switch direction is 0. So it equals 0, and if i is less than or equal 11, so i is my column. So I'm out to 11 is k right here. So I'm going to start at row 3, which everything's happening on row 3 here. And I'm starting out i at 2, so I'm going to shade that red. And then the next one... It's going to ask me if i is i minus 1 is is greater than or equal to 2. So on the first one, it isn't because it's going to be out here. So it's going to do nothing. 
it's going to do nothing for the next one, next one. And then I call this flush, which will update the screen to the present view, and then it's going to increment by one. So then it's not going to hit any of this, and my switch direction is still zero, so it's going to go all the way back up and do this again. So now I'm on column three, and if this is going to hit red again, and then I'm going to go a shade lighter on the next minus a column over, so it's going to shade this dark, this a little lighter, and then since this is off my grid, it's not going to do anything. So you'll hit this one, this one, and it'll skip this one. It'll cycle back through again. Moves over, each moves over one. So now I'm back here with D, and it'll C, and then B. So it'll hit these three, cycle over again, then it'll hit all four, which the last one will take the whole red out completely and make it white. So it makes it look like it's moving back and forth. So until I get to the end here, then I'm going to switch direction. So if I get to where I'm less than or greater than 11, then I'm going to switch direction to 1, and I'm going to start it at 10, the column at 10. I'm going to go backwards. So this will be everything opposite. So I'm taking, so we're going subtracting by one. So we're going the other direction. We're going switching back. And then this, again, will fade the colors behind it to make it look like it's fading out. Then I'm updating my screen each time and subtracting by one until I get to the end, until it's less than, or until it comes to one, then I'm switching direction. Then it goes back up to this clause. And all the while it's doing this do while loop, it's doing a count of how long, and I'm letting it go less than 98, which is probably about uh, three or four times back and forth. So that is the end of that function. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then uh, if I come over here, I'm going to take that function and set it to my button. So assign script, hit OK. Now if I hit start, I'm going to have to go to the authorization and go through this, select my account, advanced, go to Knight Rider, allow to add, create, and delete, allow. I'm going to hit it again. And there it goes as it goes back and forth. So that completes this video. This was a nice little fun video to do. Always kind of want to do something like this. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.